What's up, hip hop fans? Welcome to another edition of Hip Hop Head. My name is Julian Williams. I've been having camera problems lately, so I haven't been able to to upload another um, music review. But I'm gonna try this one now. Um, this one's gonna going to be Paul Wall Hard of a Champion. Um, the album came out July the 13th, I believe, a couple weeks ago, and you know, I'm gonna review it now. Um, but anyway, Paul Wall, a respectable Houston rapper. Um, started out as a duo with as a duo with Chameleon there. I released their LP together, Get Your Mind Correct, in 2002. Um, the the first song I've ever heard from Paul Wall was In Love With My Money um, with Chameleon there. And, you know, his career is kind of, you know, it's, it kind of took off from, from that record. It was voted as one of the best independent records on, I believe, in either Source or Double XL in 2002. And they released kind of a follow-up. They released a follow-up controversy sells in like either 2004, or 2005. But Chameleon there was had left the had left that group around that around that period of time. Paul Wall Paul Wall went on and he went on and had his his own career and released you know released excuse me released Chick Magnet, People's Champ, Get Money, Stay True. And the third LP, I can't re remember the name at the top of my head, but now we're on to the fourth LP, which is Heart of a Champion. Heart of a Champion, and if my camera messes up on me in the middle of the review, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna start off and say I gave Heart of a Champion three three and a half out of five. And one of the biggest problems I have with this record is, I and it's and I guess it's a thing with, with a lot of Texas artists. Texas artists tend to have a lot of guest appearances on their records, and it dates back to to um, the Screw Up Click days and the Swisher House days. I mean, like in the earlier times, um, a lot of the artists such as Lil Kiki Zero, um, Slim Thug, have always had you know an abundance of guest appearances, but more specifically on independent albums. And Paul Wall is no different. He's he has a lot of guest appearances on on this record. And I'm not taken off because of the guest appearances. I'm taken off because of I kind of took off because of the content of the record. Um, usually with Houston in Houston hip hop, you know, it's pretty much you know the same subjects are brought up. And this dates back to UGK, Lil Kiki, um, Screw Up Click, um, you know, just some of these guys. Um, it's just a few of the name. Even sometimes Devin the Dude. Um, Scar. No, I'm not gonna put Scarface in there, but um, you know, a lot of um, the Houston artists, you know, they talk about the same things. You know, money, um, money drinking, you know, money alcohol, having a good time, um, Texas life. You know, that's really that's what you get on Harvard Champion, and it starts off with Take Notes, produced by Travis Barker. I think this was the perfect way to begin this record. Was with Take Notes. I do. I am a big fan of production from Travis Barker I like instrumentation and in, and in, um in hip hop and you did hear some you, you did hear kind of a beat but you did hear the drumming I like the I like drumming techniques in hip hop I like I did like take notes I thought take notes did kind of take me back and remind me of a different time in hip hop and me I'm a I'm a K solo fan and kind of him going on and on you know like the way he was doing kind of remind me of K solo's first record tell the world my name um, it did kind of remind me of songs on that record, like Fugitive, when he kept when he kept going on and on, and um, Tales from the Crack Side, that song. And it's not on that same level as those songs, but the fact that you know he had a very good delivery and flow on that song, and I did like the wordplay that he used and the puns used in that song, um, made it very very listenable. I, I did like this, did like that track. Showing skills with little Kiki was. It was okay at best. It was just a song that was okay. Um, I'm, I like that Lil Kiki was on this record. I'm, I've been, you know, like I grew up listening to to Lil Kiki. Um, overall, you know, very. I think it was, I just thought it was an okay record. Um, I'm on Patron. It sounds pretty much like a novelty song. Um, um, probably another average record. Um, I'm gonna get it with. Bun B and Kid Sister. I did like this one. 
I like um, Bum B. I've, I've always been a fan of Bum B's lyrical ability. I do like the Sars Kid Sister on on this track. Um, very decent track. Um, actually, I forgot Round Here. Round Here featuring Chameleon there. Another, another good track. I'm glad to see Chameleon there and Paul Wall reunited. Um, if if it's not you know even if it's not them making full full length albums together, I do like this record. And possibly you know I would hope to see a mixtape from Paul Wall and Chameleon there. I would I would love to see a mixtape between between the two possibly. I would love to see that someday. Pocket Full of Presence feels like another novelty song. Another just it's just an okay record. Um. Ain't a thing, you know. Is a, you know, it's just another average record featuring Jim Jones. Um, not much of a fan of these songs. These songs, um, in a row. Um, and after that was My City featuring Yo Gotti. That was a, a little above average. It was, but, you know, it was it was an okay record. That's another okay record. I do like the theme of the record though. My City both. Both um, rappers being proud of where they're from, featuring Dallas Blocker. Um, Yo Gotti from Memphis did like this one. I mean, excuse me, I did. I liked the record, but it just felt like an average. It had kind of an average feel to it. Um, Smoke every day. This is, and this is where it kind of picks up. This one has Devin the Dude and Zero, um, two two Houston legends, um, along with Paul Wall, all on the same record. This one was. This one was a good, was a very good record. I did like the laid back, that laid laid back delivery that Paul Wall had, and and Devin the Dude and Zero all had on this record. I do like Smoke Every Day. Um, Live It was perhaps my favorite track on this record. I did like Live It, Live It featuring Raekwon and Jay Electronica. I'm glad to see you know Jay Electronica on on some of these records and him getting him getting um you know a little more exposure. Um, especially in the in the Houston scene, I, do, I am glad that Jay Electronica was on this record. Um, after this one, there was not my friend. Not my friend was all right. Um, it was all right. It was you know nothing more I could say about that one. Still on it was one. I guess it was one of those tracks. The it was a it was a little above average. One of those tracks to kind of um, it's kind of like um kind of a, like a laugh in the face of people that have hated on Paul Wall um, one of those type of tracks and Heart of a Hustler um, perhaps you know perhaps um, one of the better um, a really good way to sum it up one of the better songs on the on the album um, Heart of a Hustler was, was um, pretty good so I did give it three and a half out of five and really something on this record something about this record that that stands out. My favorite track was "Live It." I did like Raekwon in the middle. I like um, Jay Electronica at the end. I'm glad to see Jay Electronica. Glad to see Devin the Dude. I'm glad to see these guys get more exposure because they've been because both of these guys have been on quite a few albums this year or this summer. They've had some pretty good guest appearances and it's good to kind of build up that buzz for the next record. I would, I would hope to see. You know, Devin and do release you know another um another record this year. I hope he does that. Jay Electronica, I'm ready ready to, um for him to release a, a record because that guy is that guy is amazing on the mic. I like I like what he brings to the table. But anyway, guys, that was the end of my review. Hopefully, the whole thing gets uploaded. Um, if not, you know I gave you guys my opinion. So anyway, guys, until next time, peace.